Hello YouTube, I am making this video in case there is some confusion on how you can connect a wireless 360 controller uh, to your PC. And uh, of course a wired 360 controller or aftermarket clone, uh, they work just fine. Uh, you just plug them right in and they're automatically detected by Windows. Uh, this is a Windows tutorial. Uh, as far as the 360 wireless controller, that's what we have right here. Um, this has the AA battery pack on it right there and um, it works just fine inside of Windows if you notice I have a if you look in device manager it says Xbox 360 peripherals it's a wireless receiver for Windows this is not a uh, micro, official Microsoft receiver that I'm using the one I am using is an aftermarket receiver I don't mind the hard drive this is what the receiver looks like and it just plugs in the USB uh, this one is obviously this is not uh, the official Microsoft receiver because you can see it just says, it just says PC wireless gaming receiver uh, the official one would have a uh, a hologram uh, tag on it would say it's an you know, official Microsoft product however the third party uh, peripheral does use the same drivers uh, as uh, the official wireless gaming receiver and it is um, it comes built into Windows 8 uh, you can get these drivers right off of the Microsoft website and uh, these these gaming receivers they are not uh, they are not that expensive we'll, we'll check out real quick how much they are going for and I don't think a lot of people know about these uh, a couple years ago you could find these uh, any day in a GameStop or uh, another uh, or Best Buy even I don't see these as much uh, today and um, if you look it's not bad ten dollars there and uh, you can get them for five dollars you can get black ones they got all kinds and they're they're not expensive you can get these very cheap uh, the Xbox 360 controllers, I wouldn't be surprised to see a price drop on them. And I'm sure all of the future PC games that are compatible with 360 controllers, they're just going to uh, merge that compatibility over with the Xbox One controller. I don't see any problem using 360 controllers on the PC in the, in the foreseeable future. So I do recommend if you, uh, if you already have a 360, let's say you have some extra 360 controllers laying around. You're going to upgrade to the Xbox One or just get a PS4 and you're not going to be using these controllers use them on your computer and um, you know it has plenty of advantages when you're using a 360 controller on the computer we'll go ahead and load something up real quick let's see what we got here we'll go ahead and load something up real quick Here we go. Turn this light off. Mind you, this is it is paired with the PC right now. And there's tons of games like this. I mean, you think that the PC platform is for mice and keyboards. And that's just simply not true in 2013, uh, especially since uh, uh, X Input took over. Almost all of these games use the same assets from the 360 version. They'll even show, like right here, it says use the green select button. And I'm sure if you've already used a wired controller, you're used to seeing that. But you know, why, why not uh, take a step back and like play your PC game on one of those? You know, that's nice. Be able to play your PC games on the couch without having to worry about wires so definitely uh, if you don't have one of these gaming receivers uh, pick one up and if you have any problems leave a comment and we can uh, discuss that you shouldn't have any problems you should be able to pair up to four of these so if you have a multiplayer game you shouldn't have any problems and if you like this if this helps you out uh, please like the video and check out some of my others thanks